think should happen now with Miguel Cotto? Is, I it, think is Cotto, he over? No. Hold on. Did bro, people don't go see yet. Don't Cotto, go yet. Cotto, don't love you. Cotto, <laughs> Cotto can fight. Like, did people... Cotto can fight. He was just too small. Good big man beats the good little man. And, and even though they're the same weight, that was a big man and a little man. Cotto would beat a lot of guys right now. Cotto would beat a lot of good fighters, and you could still direct him towards big events and fights that he might win. I, I, I didn't. Did you? Did anyone see a shop fighter? I just saw a small fighter. What were the scorecards you guys saw? I yeah. thought they were too way too wide. No, I didn't think they were too wide because Cotto gave up too many big shots early in the fight. You gotta remember, this guy bigger than you, right? And, and, and to me, I'm, I don't know, and I'm not, I'm not criticizing nobody. I don't want to talk about bad about nobody. I thought Cotto showed a tremendous heart because he took a lot of shots, big shots from a much bigger guy. But Cotto didn't come out crisp and sharp tonight. That young boy came out crisp and sharp out the box. So when he that sharp, when he hit you. You hit him, boom, 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 and hit hey, you, bop, and bop, bop. I'm giving you, I'm giving him that round. It's too much hard. It's too. He already bigger than you. Then it sound like he beating the drum, and sound like you tapping on tambourine. Come on, man. I mean, you understand? The, the judges listen to the same thing. Nothing against Cotto. I love Cotto to death. But tonight it just didn't seem as sharp as I'm used to seeing him be. Is like, it? like when he fought the last few fights, he was coming out, <laughs> going to them, attacking with thunderous shots. You understand me? Tonight, he didn't really throw them to late in the fight. Well, late in the fight, you kind of tired there. So they're not going to be as thunderous as they were had you start out that way. I was thinking he would start out that way, then it would have been much better. But he said he wasn't really, I don't know, maybe, maybe he may have overtrained, tried too hard to get prepared for it because with this rivalry like this, it makes you kind of go harder than you probably need to go sometimes. So I'm not saying that he may have or he may not. I don't know what happened, but he wasn't the sharp cuddle that I like to see come out the box because I want to see Canelo take one of those thunderous left hooks early, should not he, after he's been worn down. So should right. he be over? He go no, he got to be over. He's still a great fighter. Talking still, about the decision. He's still doing his thing. Why he's going to be there over? There are possible uh, uh, ranges of Appreciate scores you. that, you know, you have decisive rounds, they go to one guy. And then close rounds could go either way. So, for example, when Floyd fought Maidana, mm -hmm. I thought you a possible range of scores, cards I would have accepted, thought it was a good decision, was anywhere from 6-6 six, six to 9-3. And I was probably around 8-4, something like that. But, but, if, but even though I had an 8-4 card, I could understand a 6-6 si six, six card. There yeah. were enough, it's those toss-up rounds. And there were the, the rounds that Cotto may have won were toss-up kind of rounds that could have gone either way. So, so could you have gotten a seven to five for Canelo? Yeah, you could. Could you get a ten to two for Canelo? Yeah, you could. There were there were enough. There were like three at least rounds that legitimately, if you're sitting there scoring, you say I could have given that to either guy.